We're Hawaii. We're hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. Yeah. So you guys just had some uh, a few shows with Zella Day and uh, one show with uh, Switchfoot. What? How are those shows? How do they differ? Uh, it's different crowds. It's a different uh, environment as well. So how different were those? It was pretty different. Uh, Zella Day, she was selling out like 500 cap rooms, but Switchfoot obviously is like 15 years into their career. So right. they're selling out like 3,000 cap rooms. So it's a little different playing in front of a bigger crowd, but it was super fun, super yeah. awesome. So yeah. The fact that the stage and the audience changes, uh, how do you guys get used to whatever stage is in front of you, whether it's a bigger stage or, or an even smaller stage? It, it doesn't really matter. The, I mean, it, the reality is when you step onto a stage that I've found at least is it's the same thing. Right. It's the same thing. It's just like, like for example, playing the Zelda Day show and playing Switcher show, like everything's the same except when like we end the song and there's way more people clapping. And so it's just, but I mean, Th that to me the stage has always felt comfortable and I think we'd all feel the same so right yeah awesome and you guys are about to drop an EP tomorrow the debut EP working all night today is actually the CD release show so if you guys aren't here you guys are missing a great show from what I hear but let's talk about the production of this record uh, and the producer to start it off the producer that you guys worked with Lars uh, what is it about this producer that you guys wanted to work with him and how did how was it like what was it like in the studio with him well, um, I, I think just overall, we, we just clicked right away. Mm -hmm. It was one of those, um, I don't know, it just, it just it made sense from the get-go. Right. So that's kind of how uh, the rest of the EP carried out, is um, there was this, this sound that we liked from the beginning, and we wanted to continue with that, and that's totally what happened. So right. we love that it all kind of came to fruition from what we originally started working on. And, and one thing I like to hear from artists is, you know, obviously when you go to the studio or to the producer, you already wrote your product of what you have in mind. But I'm curious how much the actual tracks on this EP changed once you started working with Lars. Um, I think when you're when you're in the studio for an extended amount of time, you, you have a lot of time to explore and try out new instruments is something that even stuff that you don't even own that you wouldn't even have access to. So I think you could try a new instrument and then it opens up the door to some other crazy idea. And I think right. that's what happened with us. And we tried a lot of things that we probably wouldn't have done on our own, which is cool. Right. Was there a specific, was there a specific song on the EP that um, pretty much had the most work done before you guys actually finalized it? I think, uh, actually, I think working all night, the, the title, about? yeah, all night, that's what it's called. But yeah, um, the yeah that one, the chorus we had a really hard time finding the chorus on that one but we actually the pre-chorus was the chorus uh -huh. and then one day we just came into the studio and we were like switch them mm -hmm. <laughs> and that became the chorus and it was like oh duh cool nice. yeah now i know some artists like they'll work on a record or a track and some are you know we'll finish it right there on the spot some let it go and come back to it weeks months whatever later um did you guys do that with with that song in particular uh, we we did it with all the songs until we started working with Lars. <laughs> so those things that those songs had multiple versions, yeah. and then we were like, okay, we gotta figure this out. And Lars really helped us kind of shape the final version of it. Right. So yeah. now, what what's one thing that Lars told you guys to do in the beginning that you might have in his head it sounded really awesome, and you guys probably questioned it, um, maybe put you in some kind of uncomfortable position in order to accomplish that. Uh, is there any one thing that he told you, like, oh, try the guitars this way, try the drums that way? Um, I think Lars, essentially, um, he was really easy to work with, and he, more, than, more so than anything, was a facilitator mm -hmm. for our creativity. Um, he would essentially take our raw ideas, and through his, um, he's, I mean, he's an amazing uh, engineer on Pro Tools, the fastest I've ever seen, so his speed on the computer helped us hey, try it this way. And uh, like with Jake, I know right. like some of the songwriting, it was like he would sing a part and hey, go back to this. And he would already have it chopped up, put it into like the right place and having it work and like, yeah, that totally works. And then and it just made the, the, right, the process not so burdensome because we would originally sit in the room for five, 
six hours, all of us having our own opinions and just yeah. beating our heads against the wall. And we this did that. is before he came before, into this the picture. This is before Lars. And so when Lars came into the picture, it was this streamlined process that, and essentially that's why we continue to work with him. And so, right. but with that song, I mean, yeah, it was, I wouldn't say there wasn't any, there wasn't a moment with him. It was like, man, I really don't want to do that. It was, he was really just helpful and um, just helped us uh, be creative. So. Right. And although this is your debut EP, have you guys had experience with any other producers or, or any other previous work you guys have done it all on your own? Yeah, yeah, we have actually. All, go all good experiences. Yeah. There's none that have been bad, really. It's just, it's, Lars was the fit for, for where we were at at right. our time in our life, and, and um, we're excited, you know, because it's, today's is the release, finally, release party. Yeah. Tomorrow's the official release, but... Um, yeah, I, we, we've had experience with other producers who are all great and totally played a huge role in right. where we're at today, too, you know. And mentioning where the band is at today, where exactly is the band today? <laughs> like, what do you guys feel uh, your position is? I, I mean, we're just, we want to play. <laughs> we want to play all over the world. That's yeah. where we're at, man. And you guys, you guys have done, like, scattered shows, uh, maybe little tours here and there. Do you guys plan on doing like a headline tour or maybe some support tour to, you know, to promote the record? Yeah, we have some stuff in the works right now, but I think it's too premature to right. announce. But yeah, we're, <laughs> we're working hard, man. We're going to tour. <laughs> Just give us shows, please. Right. <laughs> now, your newest, your newest single is In My Head, correct? Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about the production of, of this song and, and why you guys chose this as a single. Well, um... I, I don't it kind of felt the most anthemic I guess yeah. um, it seemed like the loudest song to come out with um, and not just uh, fit, like literally but like figuratively as well it seemed like the right fit of just a a new outfit that we were wearing okay. and, and we wanted to come out loud I guess so in my head seemed like that's the statement we wanted to make mm -hmm. um, and also too, I mean, it, every day, like we are changing what our favorite songs are. Um, and so I think at the time of- Like your own favorite songs or yeah. in general from what you listen to? Well, yeah, in general, really. Like our own, but then also just like music in general. It's like one day I love this and then the next day I love that. And so when we all kind of sat together and needed to decide on a single, In My Head was where we were at at that point, right. you know? So, um, yeah. And what is it about this music that you guys are performing and writing and and and, uh, and playing that you guys wanted to pursue it? I think uh, I speak for everyone when I say music is our passion. It's what we want to do. Right. Um, and you know, uh, when we all get in a room and jam together, this is what comes out. Mm -hmm. It's kind of each of our personalities mending together to form a cohesive end result. For those that haven't heard of your band, what is so different about Hawaii that, as opposed to any other artists out there? That's a, that's a good view. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a good me. Uh, that's a hard What's question. different? Okay, well, I think um, we're all such critics when it comes to music. Okay. And so we know that our music will be liked, but also disliked. Okay. So. What is gonna make us different, I think, is ultimately just staying true to what we personally like and never not liking our music. Okay. Like if I was to bring anything to the table that the dudes weren't into, that will not be a song. We were the band, then you'll the band. do your solo project, right? Yeah, yeah I guess so. <laughs> Which will be totally cheesy and that's and where we'll, I sell out. We'll all be a part of it, yeah. so. Yeah. But no, but overall, I, ju I just think that we want to have integrity and we want to we want to like what we're putting out. Right. And so I think that that will just kind of show. I think people see when when bands are honest mm -hmm. and, and genuine. And so that's like kind of the that's the, the message that we want to have is we're just playing music and being right. honest, really. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. You guys be sure to check out Hawaii there, hopefully on tour soon. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, pick up their debut EP, which is titled Working All Night. And you should pick it up where? iTunes, baby. <laughs> iTunes. And HawaiiBand.com. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Rob with Front Row Live.